Hi, I'm George Pearson, and this time around in Photoshop Elements, we'll be doing this quick and easy background vignette effect, which is great for selfies and sites like Instagram. Okay, if you like this video, make sure you hit that like button, and of course click on share. Also, don't forget to subscribe. I do several videos each week, mostly on Photoshop Elements and Photoshop, and then the occasional Minecraft video as well, just for the fun of it. And take a look at my complete training course for Photoshop Elements. You'll find a link for that right down there in the description. Okay, let's get to it. We'll be doing this Photoshop Elements background vignette effect using this picture right here. And just a couple of things that has a nice large foreground person here, foreground subject. And the background has a lot of nice detail happening in it. You'll be seeing the area right in here you want to have something interesting in there to see. So, you know, this stuff over here is pretty good. Trees are not so great, but the stuff over here is rather nice. So anything in there will be just fine. And also we'll be cropping this down to a square format so that it matches the standard Instagram layout as well. Okay, so here's our picture. If you want to practice with this picture here, I have a link for this on my download page. You'll find, of course, a link for that in the description. First thing, let's make a copy of this background layer. Right click and duplicate layer, choose OK. I'll hide that one, so we'll be working with this background. Now the first step, and actually the hardest part of the whole process here, is just to remove the background from this girl so that she is on her own layer. I'll use my standard technique for that, and that's grabbing the lasso tool over here. Make sure it's set at new right down below. I usually set my feathering at one pixel just to help soften things up a little bit and then come in, I'll start up here in the sky where I can see the beginning spot, and then do just a nice little selection right around the hair, come in relatively close but not up against, and then just work around the whole picture. When you come down to the bottom, you can actually go outside like that, and then come back in again. There we go. We'll need to fix a little bit at the very, very bottom. We'll get that, that as our last step on this. Come back to your beginning spot, just kind of overlap your beginning, there's the basic selection. All right, now click on Refine Edge. If you have an earlier version of Photoshop Elements, I'm working in 2020 right now, and you're not seeing the Refine Edge button down here, you'll find it up here underneath Select. Now the Refine Edge works clear back to version 13. The basic idea is just to get a nice clean selection here. I'll use the Refine Edge. I normally have my set over here with the overlay, right there, kind of a reddish background and then set this at smart radius the brush size here is 35 which is you can kind of see it there up in the sky there that's okay and then just come around and then paint with this right over that clear area the part you're kind of seeing and then work in towards the subject and that gives you the best effect with this tool just kind of work in and little short strokes like that it's a little tricky right in here on the shoulder. We'll see how well that works. No, that's a, okay, how about that? Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. If the image is too close in values to the background, you may have a problem where it kind of cuts in, but you can fix that with the erase refinement tool here. But we're good, so that's okay. I'll just go ahead and I'll work around the top here of the hair. Again, I'm working out and then coming in. There we are, and just kind of work your way around. This is a great tool and is one of the reasons why I think you need to have at least version 13 of Photoshop Elements. I think version 15 is probably the best one to get. There are some new features that are, are very useful in version 18, you know, 2018, 2019, and 2020 that I happen to like. Put them all together is pretty good. So I think 2020 is a real nice version, but at the very least I think you need at least version 15. Okay, there we go. There's our nice selection. We kind of lost it down here. I'll fix that after this is made. Okay, we can increase our contrast a little bit. Sometimes this helps to clean up edges around hair in there. So I'll give just a little bit of contrast. Let's output this to new layer with layer mask. Choose OK. And there you go. Nice clean layer mask. And that looks pretty good. I think we're okay here. You need to fix this a little bit right down there. And notice up here the layer mask is black and white. Where it's white, you can see the figure. Where it's black, you don't see anything. So white shows, black hides. 
Notice this little light blue outline around the thumbnail for the picture. Double click on the layer mask side and you see that light blue outline over there. That's now selected. I want to hide this bit right here. So let's make sure we have black as our foreground color. That's correct. Let's switch to, I'll just use the lasso right down here. And we'll actually zoom in on that. There we go. And back to the polygonal lasso tool. And for this, I'm just going to make a quick lasso right around this area right in here. There we go. And back up along this side. We're just going to remove that little bit of the background that's showing through there, which wasn't picked up by the Refine Edge tool. So real fast. And back to our start. Grab your paintbrush. Make sure you have black. And just paint that in. And there it goes. Nicely cleaned up and then deselect. While we're at this size, I'll hold the space bar down. You can grab the picture with the space bar down. Let's just check our edges. It's a little bit right in here. I think I can fix that. Same exact trick as we did before, just a second ago. Just come in and make a selection around what you want to get rid of. Go back to our starting point, paintbrush, and just paint that out. There it is. Okay, space bar again. It's a little messy right up in here. I think we can clean that out. Same trick. The reason why I'm going to the trouble here to really refine these edges is because we're going to have a nice clean white background and a fairly light background for the background image in our vignette. So it's going to show these edges and you want to have these as nice and clean as possible. Again, this is the hardest part of the whole project. And this is about the same as most things I do. I'll tend to remove backgrounds. It's a real standard technique I use a lot. Just change the background out. So it's worth taking your time on this one part. Everything else goes very, very fast. Let's come around over to here. And I'll work way up around like that. And way back down, there's our beginning point right there. Again, grab our paintbrush and just paint that out with black on the layer mask. That's all fine in there. Now you can increase the contrast a little bit here, maybe clean some of this stuff up if you're on the layer mask. Go over here and grab this tool. It is the burn tool right there. And it's coming and paint on the layer mask with that. And this sometimes will increase your contrast right there, which will frequently clean up little edges. Oh, I have a selection now. Let's just deselect. There we go. And there it is. See how it just kind of cleans that stuff out of there? And it's increasing the contrast on the layer mask. Only do it on wispy hair areas, though. It's not really a good technique for anything else. But for wispy hair, it's often all you need to do. Like right there, just kind of clean that out. Just working around the edge here. Now that can actually use a bit more than this. I'll just use the paintbrush here. We can just kind of paint that out just like that. There we go. And a little bit right in there. Okay, nice and clean. Let's now take this back to fit screen. There's our nice clean subject with the background removed. We can now show our background copy layer right here. Now come down to that layer, and then everything else again is real fast and easy. Come down here to the styles, right there, your styles panel, and go into image effects right there. And your first one is a circular vignette. Just click on that, and that does your vignette for you that fast. There it is, all done quick and easy again, as I said. Again, that's the styles panel, and image effects right here and it's the top left hand corner of the circular vignette. All we have left to do is to put this into a nice square format for use on Instagram. So come down here, right there, that is the crop tool. And then in the crop tool, you want to find one in here that has matching numbers. In this case, it's five by five. That matches, which is a square format. Choose that. You get this little box. That's your cropped area. You can then move this around to get the best view. Since the vignette in the background is circular, you want to have the same space on the left-hand side and the right-hand side right about there. And I think that looks nice. Of course, you can do a little bit of fudging if you want to back and forth. 
but I think that's a pretty good spot right in there. And choose OK. And there we go. There's our fast and easy background circular vignette and formatted here for use on Instagram. Don't forget, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that like button. That really helps out my channel a lot. Also, don't forget to share and subscribe so you won't miss out on any videos in the future. And to really learn how to use Photoshop Elements, really the best way to learn the program is to use my training course for Photoshop Elements. I have different courses for each version of Photoshop Elements, and you'll find the link right down there in the description.